Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, everybody! So, we're done fooling around in Traverse Town for now. It's time to go to the next world, the two-star world. In our gummy ship that is literally like a strip. <laughs> we're going way too fast right now. Oh, uh, yeah. So this upcoming world is pretty short, all in all. It's also a world that you'll come back to fairly frequently. Especially if you want to get 100% in the uh, run. I will not be aiming for 100%. I'll try to do all the big stuff. But, like, I'll try all the bonus bosses, but... I'm not doing Jiminy's Journal. All the side quests there. That'll take too much time. Nor am I going to try to get to max level. That takes way too long. Just look at all this damn. Whoa, hey! <laughs> I didn't take damage from those orange panels. Sweet! It looks like I'm flying a block of candy right now. Look at all these great graphic clouds. Special. I really don't know what the specials do. There's the second world. Olympus Coliseum. It's the Hercules world. It was a pretty cool world, but the problem is this is in, like, I think every Kingdom Hearts game except for one. So, er, except for uh, the 3DS one. So, it's been overused. So, there's some Trinity marks around here. Burning brightly, what happens if it goes out? Well, that was a waste of time. Like that's not going to do anything. This world is also by far the smallest in the game. It's literally free rooms. Ooh, Mega Potion. Yes, please. Blue Trinity Mark over here. Dalmatian Puppies? Nope, a Mithril Shard. That's cool, too. White Trinity Mark in the middle. That's the last one you learn. Another blue trinity mark over here. The Olympians were big on uh, symmetry. Okay, there are the Dalmatian puppies. Any treasure over here? Nope. All right. I got my potions. Sweet. Hey, Phil. Um. Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Move that pedestal over there for me. I gotta spruce this place up for the games. Uh, okay. Move this pedestal. It weighs a ton. It's way too heavy. What? Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, wrong guy. What are you doing here? <laughs> this here is the world-famous Coliseum, heroes only. And I got my hands full preparing for the games, so run along, pipsqueaks. Look who's talking. Look, it's like this. Heroes are coming from all over to fight ferocious monsters right here in the Coliseum. You got heroes standing right in front of you. Yup, 
He's a real hero chosen by the Keyblade. And real heroes too. Hero? That front? <laughs> What's so funny? I fought a bunch of monsters. On expert mode. <laughs> hey, if you can't even move this. You can't call yourself the hero. Does Phil consider himself a hero, or just a trainer of heroes? Okay, so it takes more than brawn. Well, well, let's see what you can do. Yeah, but no stupid training games. I actually just want to start fighting monsters right now. This trial's tough. You got what it takes. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, kid. Let's see what you got. <sighs> we have to do the dumb training games here. These are boring. The rules are simple. Bust all the barrels within the time limit. Ready? Go. Boom. Not bad, for a beginner, that is. So that one's pretty easy, even if I screwed up at the beginning. This one's a quite a bit harder. The rules are simple. Bust all the barrels within the time limit. The goal is to hit as many barrels as you can with that uh, finishing move. Yeah. There's just one you can pick it up and throw it. Alright, so there's one at the very top and then there's one down here, alright. Ah, oh, darn it! Oh, never mind. There isn't one on top. Don't know why I thought there was. Hey, you better than I thought, kid. Thanks, Danny DeVito. You know, you ain't bad, kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm headed for the games. Afraid not. Why not? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Sure we are. Maybe not yet. Want to become a real hero? Start by mastering this spell. Attain the power of thunder, we learn thunder, sweet. Alright, so I like setting thunder to triangle. I'll do fire to X. So thunder basically will hit enemies with lightning. It's a bit better than fire and thunder uh, fire and blizzard. Sorry, can't let you into the games just yet, but I can train you for them. I'm ready for the games. You don't get it, do you? No entry pass for you. Hm. Let's just go to the next world. Ah, uh, rather a stubborn old goat, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. Oh, hey, hold on there, fuzz boy. Hold on. Wait, let me guess. You want to enter the games, right? <laughs> That's creepy. Get a load of this. A pass? It's all yours. Good luck, kid. I'm pulling for you, little shorty. <laughs> well, that was awfully generous of him. We get the entry pass. Still, the way he put his hand on my shoulder, that was a bit creepy. Let's just ignore that. Hey, how'd you get this? Some creepy guy gave it to us outside and pulled it out of thin air. So can we enter the games now? Well, I guess so. He said it does sound pretty trustworthy. We start with the preliminaries. Ready for them? Yeah. Some weird, real weirdos signed up for the games. Better watch yourself. It's the Heartless who signed up. Olympus Coliseum preliminaries. So yeah, this world's literally just beat up Heartless in a row. So you remember those fire enemies from Wonderland? Well, these are their Blizzard counterparts. 
Still only give me one EXP though. Yeah. Of course. Then you have to do a little victory dance at the end. And Donald always says, Fertasy, pretty much. You're no heroes yet, but you ain't doing bad. Lucky you came to me for coaching. Whoa. Who's the guy in the suave cape? I wonder if he'll be important later on. Something tells me he'll be a tough one to beat. Who knows, maybe you'll end up facing him. Match two, the Sinisters. Yeah! As you can see, Thunder really helped me with those Heartless. Also, I can block now. I like that pose. Shows off the Keyblade a bit more. Heat and Freeze! Whoa! Things get a bit hectic in here. Ow. Alright, you bully. Take that. <sighs> Donald can say more than just that, but he always chooses to say that, pretty much. Say, you better than I thought, kid. Wish he was here to see this. Who? Hercules! He's a hero if ever there was one. Too bad he's off visiting his father. By that, does he mean Zeus or Ampetrion? Ooh, Shadow Platoon. Oh man, I really wish I knew the cure spell about now. Especially since these guys don't drop HP balls. Also, Thunder can stun enemies, which is nice. Goofy, could you open your mouth any wider? He, like, unhinges his jaw. Blue Revenge. Oh, boy. Alright, I need a potion. Okay, apparently block doesn't work super well on these guys. Yeah. Oh, really? Both Donald and Goofy died? Take that. Oh good, Donald and Goofy were brought back to life just so Donald could say, FOR DAISY! Another cutscene break? That little punk is your next opponent, okay? I don't blow it, just take him out. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! I know it says you're only required to kill Hercules in this tournament. But you've got to fight that kid to get to him. Come on. Hey, it's like that old goat says. Rule number 11. It's all just a game. So let loose and have fun with it! <laughs> I mean, a casualty or two along the way. It's no big deal, right? <laughs> Exactly. Okay. 
stiffer than the stiffs back home. Is it just me or is Hades yeah, very like suckers like him are hard to come by? <laughs> dead in his movements. Like his eyes barely move. He has really like weird clunky like poses. It's kind of odd. The big one. Almost killed me there. Donald, can you kill the little guys with some thunder? Yeah! That's how you do it. Nice dance, Goofy. Oh, final match. That's the best you can do. Oh boy, he's tough. That's the best you can do. Wow. Okay. Block does not work against him apparently. Fortunately, you're not required to beat him. Okay, that sword is so awesome. Also extremely impractical. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> oh right, there was one other rule. I forgot. Accident happened. <laughs> yeah, seriously, he's so expressionless. Whoa, where did he come from? Get them out of here! <laughs> yep, oh boy. That's Cerberus. He's our next fight. Whoa, that was close! That was Cerberus, the guardian of the underworld. Herc should be able to handle him. But then again, maybe not. This doesn't look good. Alright, well. Donald learned Berserk. Boost his attack power when HP is critically low. Yes. Alright. Gotta load up on potions. We're gonna save before doing this. Alright. I hope Herc's okay. I wish I could go in. Kid, you're not entering the arena, are you? This ain't some match. This is for real. I'm not afraid. You can decide if I'm hero material or not. Careful, kid. Okay, this is, in my opinion, the hardest boss in the entire game. Especially, like, if you fight him when you're supposed to, which is right now. He's super tough. Also, the first boss, if you're playing on normal mode, where you can't just gonna go up and hack and slash him like crazy to win. He will destroy you if you do that. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Attack! That's, uh, that's actually bad advice. You don't just want to attack. You, you're gonna be spending most of this fight running away. Wow, even when I'm locked on, the camera's terrible. So yeah, you're like never going to get finishers on him. It's so basically what you want to do, wait for this head to bite, and then go and hit him twice and then run away. Ooh. Also, if you can parry his attacks, that's great. Oh, yeah. That's what happens if you get too greedy. And his hitbox is enormous, so... Ow. 
Ow. I'm not kidding when I say this fight is one of the hardest in the game, if not the hardest. Out of the required fights. Oh boy. Nice going, Donald. Oh boy! Oh, okay. For this attack, just run and roll. And, you know, avoid the meteors that he's trying to throw at you. This again. Yeah, he's this hard on, uh, regular mode as well. Once you get his attack pattern down, though, he's not as bad. And, you know, once you learn to not just run up and just hack him like crazy. Because you'll notice I'm, like, hitting him maybe twice, then running away, then coming back at the exact right time before hitting him twice again. So this is a slow fight, but that's the only way you can really make it a safe fight. I didn't think he would kill me in one hit. Oh, uh, yep. <sighs> That's Cerberus. Oh, boy. And this is why I purchased all of these extra potions before coming here. Whew. Yeah, the bonus bosses in this game are much harder than Cerberus, but out of all the required fights, I still think Cerberus is the toughest. And if you're having like a, just an unbelievably hard time on him, you can go to the next world, get the cure spell, come back, and he's quite a bit easier. He's still pretty tough, though. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Attack! Hi, Cerberus. Thunder. Thunder. Also, it doesn't help that Donald and Goofy are dead for pretty much the entire fight.
Thunder deals that little bit of extra damage that you need against him. Of course, if you got Cure, you can use your MP on that instead. Bad dog. Also, you might think it's a good idea to get on his back and attack him. It's not. You can do it, it's just a bad idea. Way to go, Goofy. Okay. This little HP, I need more. I wish he wasn't so close to the stairs. Although, because we're close to the stairs, I should be able to... Uh, no. Not if he's doing that attack. It's too risky. It's much better to avoid an attack of his than to get an extra hit on him. Especially since you can only carry so many potions into one battle. Ooh, I can cast more thunder on him. After this attack, of course. does not know how to jump to it to avoid that attack. I gotta admit, this is a very well-designed fight, because you can easily dodge all of his attacks if you can anticipate them. Almost. Oh no. He's also got a lot of HP, as you can see. Yeah! Goodbye, Cerberus. Whew. Yeah. And we get the Inferno Band. Sweet. I like how you get the little rain after each of the bosses. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes and confer upon the full rights and privileges to participate in the games. Heck yeah. Uh, hey, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. We beat up servers when Hercules couldn't. Come on. Ooh, what does it take? Well, that's just something you'll have to find out for yourselves. Sure. Just the way that I did. <laughs> that, that, I don't think that is Hercules' original no voice actor. <laughs> we'll start by proving ourselves in the games. There ain't gonna be any games for a while. Gotta clean up the mess from that last battle first. Oh okay. no. We'll be back. I still can't believe that Squirt actually beat Cerberus. And on expert mode. Just between us, I'd already worn Cerberus down by the time the little guy jumped in. You so did not. My lips are sealed. Hercules, you weren't doing like anything. 
And we get the hero license. Alright, gotta equip that band. So the Inferno Band, alright. Ooh, fire and dark damage will get decreased by 20% and it'll also raise our defense. Uh, that will also lower our AP by 1, though, so... Hang on, first abilities. Ooh, scan! This allows us to see enemy HP, so I'm gonna gotta equip that, so... Alright. I didn't equip Berserk for Donald. Oh boy, and Goofy gets charge, knock an, charge and knock out an enemy with your shield. Special attack costs 1 MP. Whew, I'd rather he have Jackpot on for now. Alright, equipment. I will guess I'll give the Inferno Band to Goofy. And we're going to save and quit. Leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Flarty. If you tune in for the next episode, we will be going to the third world today. Today. Next time. Have a great day and God bless.